Between 1990 and 2010, 25 million Americans lost their religion. At the same time, they also began spending 400 bajillion hours a day on the internet. Coincidence? I don't know. Now, if you're wondering why that warrants an awkward, forced smile, you have to understand that this plays into the atheist's favorite narrative. Namely, that the free exchange of information on the internet has led to an open marketplace of ideas where Christianity has been roundly defeated and atheism has emerged triumphant. The only problem with this narrative is that there's really no evidence to support it. Now, the correlation of internet use with irreligion is documented fact, uh, the source video is linked in the description. The parts that actually flatter atheism, however, this notion that people are rejecting religion based on good information and critical thinking, well, that's just pure speculation. In fact, we can mount a pretty good case against it. Now, atheists often point to the fact that millennials are by far the least religious generation. But this highly secularized, internet-savvy generation is also substantially more likely to believe pseudoscience about vaccines, for example. In fact, the 2015 Program for International Student Assessment Study showed either declining or stagnating standards for American students in all areas, including science. Millennials fucking love science, they just know jack shit about it. Now, I'll fully agree that the internet has been the primary vector for the proliferation of atheism, but so what? The internet's been the primary vector for the proliferation of 9-11 conspiracy theories. It's been the primary vector for the proliferation of erotic Shrek fan fiction. The fact that something proliferates primarily through the internet is hardly a recommendation. Now I will grant that atheists have been very effective at using social media to recruit young people. Do you want to guess who else has been very effective at using social media to recruit young people? The FBI director is sounding the alarm about ISIS, saying the terror group is reaching deeper into America thanks to a disturbingly sophisticated social media campaign. This is a new generation of very sophisticated jihadi propaganda. ISIS is one group using social media to spread its message and to recruit fighters. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.